This year, I didn't set a New Year's resolution. Instead, I asked myself a New Year's question, a question that I hoped to answer over the course of the next year. The question was a simple one. How do I want to live? More than halfway through 2023, I've been thinking about that question a lot. I don't feel like I've fully answered it yet, but I have figured a few things out. And that's what I hope to share with you today. I hope you find something helpful in my journey so far. I feel like it's important to ask ourselves questions like how we want to live. It's easy to fall into a rut, focus on doing the next thing, achieving the next goal, and hitting the next milestone. That's the cycle I'd gotten caught in late last year. I finished writing my thesis, completed my graduate program, applied for jobs, and then finally landed a position somewhere. I was grateful for the opportunity and proud of my hard work, but something bothered me. For years, I'd put my true passions on the back burner while I pursued more practical goals. Now that I'd made it in one sense, I was scared that I would continue living that way. I would get swallowed up by my job and all my other responsibilities, and I would never become a real writer. I realized that I no longer had any excuses. I was no longer a student, and I'd figured out a way to make money and keep a roof over my head. If I didn't start living the life I wanted, I would have no one to blame but myself. Ever since, I've been conducting experiments. I spent a few nights in a tiny house and an entire week in a renovated school bus. My husband is on a similar journey and we spend a lot of time talking about what we want our future to look like. The life I wanted. What did that even look like? I knew it meant writing and time for creative projects, but what else? Sure, I want to live a creative life, but I want it to be holistic. All too often, writers fall victim to hustle culture. I see lots of videos promising tricks to make you a more productive writer. I hear the standard advice of writing every single day, no matter what and no matter how you feel. I tried to be that kind of writer before, and I often wound up tired and discouraged. Simply forcing more writing time into an already busy day wasn't enough. Besides, toxic productivity was something I needed to unlearn. Living creatively would mean looking at my whole life and unpacking different influences, both good and bad. I've already talked about some of the bad influences on this channel. Fixed mindsets, burnout, a fast pace of life, toxic productivity. I would add perfectionism and imposter syndrome to that list too. Over time, I'm becoming more aware of these issues and how they affect me. I hope to talk more about them in future videos. I've also learned some powerful lessons. I know that I need time in nature. I need to feel the sunlight on my skin and watch the rain fall on the azaleas. I've fallen out of love with the city where I've lived for the last three years and I long to move out into the country. I need time every day to exercise my mind. I've been studying Latin and reading books just because I'm curious about something. I recently finished an enormous book of ancient Egyptian history that I read for my own pleasure. I realized that was a period of history I didn't know much about and I wanted to fix that. By the time I finished, I had an idea for a new short story. Most of all, I try to live my life like it's a work of art. This means slowing down, 
appreciating my experiences and taking the time to cultivate them. As I go about my day, I ask myself, what kind of portrait am I painting here? What story am I writing for myself today and is it worth reading? Am I being the best protagonist I can be? In many ways, this channel is the ultimate expression of this idea, life as a work of art. I share snippets of my life with you and it's like an artistic rendering of my day. Some people might think this is performative, even shallow, but I find the opposite is true. It's a deepening of experience. The things I film, I was going to do anyway. But by filming, by framing these little moments as art, I appreciate them more mindfully and cherish them for the beautiful moments they are. With all this said, you may notice a shift in my channel these next few months. I'm a writer, but I don't just want to talk about the act of writing itself. I want to talk about what it means to live as a writer, an artist, a creative person. I want to keep trying to answer my New Year's question, how do I want to live? I want to share my thoughts in various experiments with you, and I want to hear your thoughts. Does this resonate with you? How do you live your best creative life? Please let me know in the comments, I'd love to hear from you. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time. Happy writing.